this is the idea that we have. And surprise, surprise, a new look for me. use draping tape but we're gonna try hi fashionistas <laughs> i'm about to begin the draping process for my birthday outfit i'm doing a two-piece one the top is going to be a corset and then the bottom is going to be a bubble skirt type of situation i was thinking the original plan was to have it a dress and have like the corset at the top bubble at the bottom but with the way that these pants are made and how much fabric I'm working with, I'm thinking a two piece is gonna work better for me in this instance. So we're gonna try that out for size. And yeah, I'm just about to start the process with some draping tape. Now I've never used this before, so it's really gonna be just a learning process in itself. But basically, let me show you the reference sketch. So the reference sketch is in. Right or so. Let me see, let me see. This is just a really rough sketch. Like I was doing this late at night, haven't even put in like the color or anything, but it's honestly a different look than what I have now. Oop. Here is the idea. Hopefully I can zoom in and focus on that. This is the idea that we have. There are gonna be some slight changes that I know I've already cultivated in my mind about what I wanna do for it. Yeah, it's just gonna be like experimenting and just seeing where this design takes me. I have the idea, so it's just about trying to work with these pants in the best way to maximize the fabric. So let's get right into it. The design process for the Yisha look. <laughs> Literally, first time out of the package. Oh, I thought it was like a sticker type of thing, but no. Maybe this isn't the right stuff. <laughs> I don't think this is the right stuff, but we're gonna mark the waist. Okay, so it's the next day. Is it the next day? Well, not the immediate day after. I think it's a couple days later. Finished the muslin. Well, not completely finished, but I'm about like 90% finished with the muslin mock-up that I made of half of the corset. So it's looking like this so far. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it on the mannequin just to see how it's looking. I already kind of did it, but we're kind of just gonna you know, see it together for the first time. 
I'm still working on the inside of it because I'm gonna make the, I'm trying to think if I wanna just keep this without a lining and then make the boning channels with the seam allowance, which is what I originally planned to do. I would just open these up and sew these down, of course, and then put the boning through, but I want the edges to be like folded underneath so it's clean all around, like I did with the corset I made in class before. I'm probably gonna leave without a lining. I'll just see how the process goes when I start working with the actual fabric and see if there's any challenges that occur with it. As far as that goes, this was so simple to put together. Like, it was just so easy. I love it, so let's see how it's looking. I have not ironed it, so take that into consideration. I should be ironing it, but I haven't ironed it yet. But yeah, this is how it's looking so far. I'm really excited to see what it looks like with the actual fabric. For the back, I added the little loops that the strings I'm gonna pull through are gonna go through. I think I'm gonna make them a little wider, just like half of this additional added to it because I want to be a little bit thicker and then I think I'm going to have four in the back instead of just three just for a little more security but I think it's going to look great the other one's going to end like around here and it's going to leave a little bit of the back open this little part which is what I wanted so yeah really loving it now I'm just going to go ahead sew down the steam allowance to make little channels and come back after that. I think I want to get started on using the actual fabric today from the pants. So yes, I'm excited. But yeah, she looks great. Beautiful. Beautiful work, beautiful work. lighting but I am actually finished with the mock-up now I put in all the stitches all the tubing channels the only thing I didn't do was put in the boning into the channels because honestly because it's the mock-up the sewing wasn't as accurate it was a little too small for it to fit through so I didn't add those in for this one because I realized I need to add a greater seam allowance so I need to add one eighth is it one eighth I need to add one eighth inch to the seam allowance in order for it to be five eighths instead of a half inch and that'll allow me to sew down the seam allowance easier a few things that I figure out that I need to consider when sewing is the little loops back here I need to scoot these down a little bit in order to allow room for the twill tape I'm gonna use or the bias tape. I'm either gonna buy bias tape or I'm gonna figure out a way to use the fabric from the pants to make a bias tape, but I'm not sure if it'll work out with how much fabric I have. So I might just end up buying it. We'll see what happens. And then I think I told y'all the other day that I'm gonna add one more loop to it. So it's four instead of three. Um, yeah, that's all that I've really figured out so far. I am about to go ahead and start with the actual fabric with the pants. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the pants tonight. This is a faux leather, as you can see. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out the corset pieces from this tonight and yeah we'll see what happens from there i'm still kind of strategizing how i'm going to do this skirt so we'll just see where it takes me
guys, so we are already working with the fashion fabric now. I did the left and right sides of the corset now. I'm about to attach the loop pieces, about to attach the loops to the back because I haven't done the fourth piece of the corset yet. And once I do that, I'll connect the middles of it and the corset will be fully together. After that, I just need to add the bias tape or the twill tape to the top and bottom to clean the edges up. I'm not sure what I want to use for that right now. I was going to figure out how to use the remaining fabric of the pants to use it as the twill tape or the bias tape or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to have enough unless I go and find the same fabric from another pair of pants, which I don't doubt I'll be able to find like I saw it just the other day. And then I am running out of the brown thread right now so I will have to go get some more of that tomorrow. But I'm just gonna do what I can today and we will be on to the skirt next. Ah! She's looking so good, so fabulous. Yeah, the only thing about this fabric is I cannot iron it. sunlight going on. you guys today is shoot day uh -huh. and surprise surprise a new look for me this is my first time trying bangs and i actually really like it i feel like i look like my mother but yeah anyways i love how it came out i just got out the studio right now and it looks so nice in here look at that look ooh, look at that we're gonna be shooting here Y'all can't even see me for real. But we're gonna be shooting right there. And yes, I'm so excited. I actually need to put my nails on because I forgot them. Look at me, hold on. <laughs> Look at me. Shoot day fit. But I forgot to put my nails on, so I'm about to go ahead and throw those on now. It is just now six and yes i'm about to unpack everything hang it up put these nails on and be ready to shoot ah, i'm literally so excited like this is such a great space it really is but i did me a cute little makeup look took my time with it i feel like i'm seeing a little bit of discoloration probably just because of the weather change it's getting colder out and stuff I have eczema, so that happens. But I'm just gonna go ahead and lay everything out. I'm not gonna talk too much because I wanna hurry up and get ready before the photographer gets here.
Hello, Miss Olivia. Hi. Hello. Oh, she's on her way, but I'm oh. the person she's shooting. <laughs> you had a special request for a real zebra rug. Yes. So, okay, I'll just cut it here. Okay, yeah, you can lay it anywhere. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. What um, what kind of shoot are you? Um, I'm doing a mix of my brand photo shoot slash birthday photo shoot in one. So. Good for you. Yeah. Okay, that's great. What's your brand? Uh, it's called Yisha. It's a clothing brand, and uh -huh. um, yeah, right now I do like upcycling projects, but I go to school for design right now, so. At uh, where at? UC right now. Oh, school of design? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you really? They, uh, the cap, their, their um, capstone projects are always here in the spring. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, design, you know, right before the fashion show. Uh -huh. So is that what you're part of? Um, not right now. I actually just transferred here, so I'm technically a second year student, but okay, this is so more like a couple years where you get to that part. But, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to get the back of the back in this real quick. Okay, great. I didn't even know these studios were here. I actually grew oh, up really? in... It's your first time? Yeah. And I grew up in Newport, so I don't know how long they've been here, but... We've been here for about 10 years. Oh, really? So I started with one, and, uh, you know, it just has kind of slowly grown. Yeah. One. One per year, <laughs> and uh, now we've got eleven studios. Okay, let's go. So, did you, are we able to see our website? I guess? Yeah, I've checked it out, and I love okay. the um, what room was it? It was the one with the book wall. The Lincoln Suite. Yeah, that one. I love That's that our newest room. studio. One bed you found us. Yes, yeah, same. So how did how did you find us? Um, my photographer, she's been hip to like all the studios around town. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just had, like all day long, we had this whole holiday set down here. Mm -hmm. And they had two baby goats. Oh. <laughs> and it was the cutest thing ever, but it might kind of smell like a barn, which it normally does. <laughs> Soon. Okay. Is there a little changing area by chance? Yeah. Okay. There's a bathroom right there. Okay, great. Bathroom and everything. That, so. Yeah. Did you bring some of your sketches? Yes, I did. Oh, perfect. I'm so excited for that shot. Okay. Are you wanting the rug to start off with or no? I think we can. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do my standing ones first and then the laying ones, but we can see how it looks. Um, if it gets too busy, we can try the regular ones. I screenshot a bunch from your Pinterest board. Okay, right. Cause I was gonna be looking at references as I was posing. I was supposed to bring my iPad, but that was one of the things I forgot on the way here. That's okay. Um, okay, so you have, what up? Perfect then. So maybe we should do like the plain ones. Which one do you think? You're standing. I, well for one, I don't want to cut my hand in front of the camera. No, you're good. For one, I'm obsessed with that one okay. and like this kind of vibe. I also really love this one, the chair. I had that one screenshot it and that one screenshot it. Okay. So we, we can, can honestly just start, start with whatever you want. Okay. Like that one. Okay. Like these three. Okay. So maybe we should do it without the rug first. Okay. I thought I had a crazy face. Are we turning these on? No. They don't count. Those are the extra shots. Oh. Um, so the lighting is good. Okay. I know. I'm here. When I came in the other bed. Yeah, and I didn't want it to be like stark. I kind of wanted the dim photos. Oh, okay. So I think it'll work. Perfect. We don't need 50 hours for you. No, for real. Are you wanting me to come in on any of these? Yes, you can. Okay. Because we want to close. 
should get what they need. Like my other friend from Memphis, she is also a photographer. And she was like, I never get behind the scenes. And I'm like, what's the point if nobody sees you? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Um, I want to do this back one. I'm obsessed with that. Is the bow okay? Like, are you? Do you know how to tie a good bow, or is it like a little like like wonky? I feel like she's so more string, yes. less loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes like hours sometimes to edit it, but I'm becoming a lot quicker because I'm less focused on my perfection and I'm like, just get it out. Just get it done. More awkward than it actually looks. Should I keep walking? Oh, okay. I was supposed to keep walking. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, keep walking. Keep okay, walking. okay. Should I get more drama with the walk? Like bigger yes. walks? Okay. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna try. The only two seating ones I'm gonna do are that one and okay. potentially that one. But we will see, cause I don't even know what I can <laughs> Okay, so arm resting. Legs There's up. no way she was on this chair. Leg up. There's no way. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> like the way she's sitting on it. She's also like... very long, so she has a lot more to rest on. Scoot your body forward more. Forward. Yeah. Like center in the chair. Pain of beauty, girl. Good <laughs> job. Fix your hand because right now it looks like a chicken hand. Oh, okay. right. So just kind of like, yeah, that actually works perfect. Oh, I love the leg kick. That, I want to get a close one. <laughs> Sorry to say bless you, but make sure you're awake. Okay, so arms are kind of squared off. Like that. Oh, they're resting? Yeah. Okay, I might have to do it like this. Ooh, this takes a lot of core strength. <laughs> yeah, keep the legs just like that. Are you able to drop the arm that's on top of the chair? Like that? Yeah. Ooh, I believe in you. I believe in you. Does this look like I'm struggling with a picture? No, it actually looks very like bow and. Oh, Let me show you. <laughs> that took a lot of core strength.
sketches and then I'm gonna do like that type of pose with the sketch. I'm obsessed with that. 